Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. I want to talk about something real quick. Tara here. I get a lot of questions from folks, and yes, you're seeing another video of me brushing my cow. Trust me, I get many looks from many farmers. They just can't believe I stand around and brush my cow. Well, let's talk about that for a second. She is about to have a calf. In fact, her, due, her technical due date technically is May 7th. Well, it's May 3rd. As you can see, she's distended down. Um, she's got a full belly, more so on one side. Um, I have put some, uh, I have actually poured my freshener spray on her to try to keep the flies down. Um, she has a, you know, her bag is coming in. Her, um, she's springing back here. She's um, also getting a lot of mucus now. I think we're starting to shed the mucus plug. It was a lot last night. I haven't seen the weeping yet, but definitely uh, we're getting there. The point of this video is this, and I'm feeding her some hay. This cow had never been milked when I, you know, when we bought her. She was bred, and she was bred, and she produced her second heifer. And the point of this video is, and again, you need to do your own homework and you need to do what's best for you and your farm. Explore all options and do what's best for you, what is most safe and effective for you, your cows. Dealing with livestock like this is no joke. She is so sweet and so happy right now, but she's a force to be reckoned with. We've talked about that a million times. The point of this video though is, if you want to really groom a cow for milking, I spent months doing what you're seeing. Now, I wasn't in the stall with her in the first month or two brushing her, but I visited, visited her often, brought her treats often, talked to her often, okay? I was reading an article on a blog about how to prep your cow for milking, and I laughed. I, they're correct in what they say, but they said you should be willing to visit your dairy cow at, once a day out in the field, at least to let them know about your presence. Folks, I'm gonna tell you what. If you're not willing to visit your dairy cow once a day in the field, you don't need a dairy cow. Dairy goats for that matter, okay? Because frankly, this is a matter of trust. For an animal this size to trust me with working with her especially after she gives birth to a calf, which is when they are in peak mama bear mode, okay? Just like you are, just like I was, just like a grizzly is. Now, uh, granted, we're not comparing a, a Jersey Holstein cow to a grizzly bear here, but have you, I'm telling you, on the moments that I know she is very serious, whether it's feeding time, whatever, she's been in the mud, it rained, you can see. You have to respect that. So you better believe that I'm gonna take 10, 15 minutes a day and I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna give her, you know, a treat and I'm gonna brush her because she loves it. And I'm gonna spend time with her. I'm grooming her, I'm prepping her. I'm also gaining trust with her. I talk very easy to her, talk very easy around her. So she denotes when I'm serious, she knows when I mean no, I mean no and I respect her space. Now, I'm just gonna do this for a few minutes. You know, she, she loves the tail. Look here. She wants her tail done. <laughs> this is where she has strung the mucus all around through here. Last night, it was on both sides. So, and you know, clearly we have an issue here. So anyway, I wanna talk about gaining trust with your animals consistent placement with them, ease. You're building trust, whether it's a dairy cow, whether it's a great Pyrenees, whether it's a hen, whether it's a pig. Use your head, do your homework, be smart. But guys, you're not gonna th just throw these animals out there and in the field and just walk on out there and just go for it. Now granted, if you've got a 10-year-old Jersey that's been milked for years and years and years and your uncle knew her and blah, 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 are there cases? Yes, but this was not the case here. Okay, we started from scratch. I had to start from scratch and building trust with her 
I knew was the ultimate goal and the only way we were going to be successful with being able to milk her. And we got her going within two days uh, in terms of her understanding, hey, these people love me, these people trust me, they mean no harm to me, I'm cool. Okay? Hope this helps you out. I hope it finds you well. Always do your homework. Be smart with these types of animals, guys, okay? Always, 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 always. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. We're getting ready for baby. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. And she always has visitors. <laughs> Y'all take care out there.